All right, this is Charles Tyler over the Charles Tyler Show. Back here in Rio de Janeiro. All right, see here sitting with a couple of the brothers here and our sisters. Okay, you know, I'm gonna, you know, come down with the names first here. Starting off with my man right here, Gary. Where you from, Gary? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. ATL all the way, man. First time out, love it. First time out, loving it. Straight, straight from the ATL. Made, made the big boy trip for my first uh, out of the country vacation, and uh, man, I love it, man. If you haven't been, you can come check it out. All right, all right. Okay, and my this brother right here. I'm Will from With Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Yep. All right. And uh, this is my girl, uh, Marcella. How you doing, Marcella? Hola, Marcella. Hola. Hola to the bingo. Hello. All right. My name is Marcella. I'm living. I live in Rio. I love Rio. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome here. More to come. More to come. Definitely. Definitely. Well, getting y'all all first timers, correct? Yes, right. our first time. All right. So tell me something. How was your experience? I mean, how long you were for one? How long? You were, how long? Starting off with you, Gary. How long you were here? Uh, I came on Thursday. Saturday. Okay. So you about nine days there. All right. So my thing is this: within the time that you've been here so far, how have you liked this trip? I've enjoyed every day of it. I've enjoyed it. It's been relaxing, it's been fun. You know, cool. I like the women, of course. Uh, the people at the beach. I like the culture. I like the. I like the fact that it's laid back. You know, it's not a lot of BS going like like it is in the states. Okay. I've enjoyed every minute. Of it. Okay, okay. Okay, over up to the Sugarloaf Mountains. Okay. Good place to bring a couple here. So this brings me over here to my man Will here. With his lady. Okay, now how, how long you been here, Will? I've been here seventeen days. Um, this is my last day out here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm supposed to head out here later on tonight, nine eleven. Mm -hmm. And um, basically um, it's a it's a totally different culture out here. Um, people are a lot more friendlier, you know. People don't look at you weird if you approach them, ask them questions, or mm -hmm. just for a friendly conversation. Mm -hmm. um, very inviting, weather is great. Mm -hmm. You know, all in all, it's just uh, night and day from the US, from what you would expect out of uh, Western culture. So yeah, it's very good, very nice. Okay, now. It appears that you are now in a relationship here. How are you corresponding with, you know, of course with your Brazilian counterpart here, lovely counterpart at that? She uh, she speaks some English, mm -hmm. and she's been teaching me a lot of uh, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. uh, she's an English teacher, so, ah. so uh, she teaches she little children. And, um, and she teaches adults too at night. But um, but basically, we've been getting along and communicating very well. Um, what's different? What's different a lot about her is, you know, you don't have to put up with a lot of the little, you know, the little mess you have to put up with an American girl. You know, um, very considerate, very very um, um, inviting, and, and very. Um, uh, quick to to help out and, and be there for you. In other words, I see y'all as a couple that y'all come together, you know, to help each other. Yeah. It's the same as she's going to teach you Portuguese. You're going to help her even more. She, you know she's English teacher, you're going to help her even more with her English. Yeah. Then, whatever comes may be, you know, and within a relationship, Y'all gonna build it together and not build it apart. No walls. Exactly. Something that's pretty much starting to become the common thing in America, where we're building walls to keep us apart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hell, we, we uh, just elected a president that wants to build a gigantic wall to keep us apart. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, Donald Duck Trump. You know, but. <laughs> I know how much yeah. she likes Donald Trump. Ah, Donald Trump. I don't like Donald Trump. See, Trump, we don't even like you down in Brazil. Don't like okay. Donald Trump. 
<laughs> you know, we don't don't like, I don't, don't like him either. Don't, don't, don't like me too. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. The thing is, is this, right? In America, in the way American society is, we come from an entitlement. We come from an entitlement system. This is what I like, I like a lot of brothers to understand exactly. here. We come from an entitlement system to where feminism is insurance, is entitlement. There is no entitlement here in America. There is probably a little bit here in Brazil, but not like the America. Not like you get free assistance, monthly assistance, no. $2,500 a month, uh, free housing or affordable, you know. Not, not all the stuff that where a woman can say she don't need a man. Exactly. This is a... This country is still, I've always said, not just this country, but several other countries, I've said that the United States is a feminist country. It's woven in its fabric of the country in the last 60 years. It's not going to come out because y'all got Donald Trump. That's, that, that ain't, I don't know what fool, oh, wait a minute, I think his name is Tommy Sotomayor. He's told you that Trump is going to get rid of feminism. No, that's, that's not going to happen. happen. If anything, is going to get ramped up. But, and my thing is like this. Feminism is not a situation to where we hate women or dislike women. We love women. Your couple proves it. You know, Gary here had a great time with the women that he met. Okay? His, his problem is just choosing one. Okay? <laughs> At all, you know? At all. It's still a man's world. Okay? It's still a man's world. But you and your woman could build something good together instead of apart. Yeah. Feminism and entitlement has divided that us in America. doesn't allow that to happen in the United States anymore, really. I mean, after maybe a couple of years, one to two years, and... You know, she's already ready to get go on her own way and, mm -hmm. you know, put you on child support and, mm -hmm. and all of that. And everything you, you try to work for is gone. And that's that's something that I've noticed that it's very important out here is the family is very, very, very important out exactly. here. Exactly. And um, since I've been out here, I can tell you I've only seen one woman pushing a, a little stroller with a baby in it all by herself with, without a man right beside her, you know? So the family structure is very much intact around here. So if, if you're looking for something like that, it exists, and it exists right here, you know? You know, the thing is, don't... The thing is, right, so you buy it after you taste it. All right. The thing about it is, countries like Brazil, right, like Brazil, the man is very important. Okay. Now, can I ask you, what is the man's structure here in Brazil? What, what is he, how is he staying here in this country? Where is Well, just in general. Repeat the question further. Where does the man stand in the household? Oh, um, in my household. What is the importance? What is the importance of a man in a Brazilian? What's his oh, role? A lot of, uh, many, uh, many things. I love Brazil. I love Rio de Janeiro, but uh, here many problems too. Many problems. True. Um, black, black woman. Um, black people. In, in Rio, in Brazil, um, um, how do you say softly? I don't, I don't remember. Um, huh? Sofrer preso. I don't, I don't remember preso. Said softly. Okay, softly. In Rio. No, what is the importance of a, a man in the family? What is the importance of a man in the family? As a, as a husband, what's the importance? I family not in Rio, live in Minas Gerais. But in Rio, I have many, many friends. For me, important my friends, my 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 students, my children. Now the man is the question. I think she's she's good. 
But, but, but what is the man's role? Your father. Your, your father your in yes, his family. Father. Oh, okay, in my family. family. In my family, family. 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 don't leave before me. No, no, no. No, no, you don't understand. What is a man's a, a man's role in a family? In my family. Yeah. What what does a man do in a family? Not just your family. Here in Brazil. Oh, important family in, in Brazil. Brazil. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I, men men family are different families in Brazil. So so. Well, we'll get. I'll tell you what. We're gonna get back to that one, yeah. okay? okay? We're gonna get back to that one. But <laughs> the role what, what we're trying to get around to is that the role of a man is very important in yeah. the family here. Yes. And like you said, this you ain't seen too many strollers with without the father. Yeah, exactly. The fathers I mean, are very that important. All the time in the U.S. That's that's common. It's common now. In fact, because of entitlement. Exactly. Entitlement, you know. It makes the, it makes a man virtually um, dispensable. Yeah. Dispensable. Yes. Yeah. Now here in Brazil, family is important. Yes. There's laws here in Brazil to where you can get permanent residency if you have a child with a you know a Brazilian woman, of course. Yeah. But if you know in America, of course, because we're divisive and we're trying to separate. You know, they're trying to get rid of the 14th Amendment, especially Donald Trump and anybody out here who are dating yeah. foreign women who voted for Donald Trump. You fucked yourself, okay? <laughs> Donald Trump is going to try to get rid of the 14th Amendment yeah. to where if if you have an anchor baby, what they call it, you can't stay in the States. Here in Brazil, they want the man to stay with his family, even if he is a foreigner. Yeah. So they may give him a path to permanent residency. The bottom line is here is that when brothers travel, they see a different world. I know, you know, with you, Gary, you, you said this is like the actual real first time you actually came somewhere far. And you see that this is a different, completely different world. You no longer listen to me. I mean, just, you know, listen to me is one thing, but experience is, is another. Even uh, watching the television program, I can't understand the language, but I understand what's going on. I have not seen this, this level of stuff that they put on in the media in the U.S. that they, it's not here. Yeah. You don't see it. Yeah. People just walk around and say, I don't want to know those things are different. Yeah, and, you know, and it's not the, the usual stereotypes the Matrix tells us that, oh, everybody down here is a murderer, everybody down here got some disease or something like that. It's crazy. Zika virus, all Zika that, virus, yeah, all that no, bullshit. No, not at all. Not at all. Everybody, everybody that I've mentioned this to, oh, I'll be careful where you go in Brazil. I'll be careful. Yeah, I'm like, look, I'm going to see it for myself. Yeah. And and to, to that point, to that point, you can see a society built a whole lot less around materialistic things. Yes. It's actually a society built on friendships, on on networks and and many times, you know, we'll be walking down the street and she'll start talking to somebody as if they were friends for like forever, but they just met, you know what I mean? And it's like everywhere you go, the people just start talking to you. They care about family, they care about, um, you know, just being friendly to everybody, you know? And um, I think that has been completely destroyed in the United States, and which is a sad thing. Now, the thing about it is this. What we're trying to get brothers to understand is yeah. to stop sitting around, going in circles, talking about black women in America, oh, black bitches this, black bitches that. Yeah. That doesn't fix anything. Okay? Yeah. Now, I love black women. All right? I love black women. I don't love... I even love American women. I just don't care to deal with American women anymore. Yeah. I'm past that age now. Okay? You know, that, that horse, that ship done sailed. All right? Brazilian, Afro-Brazilian women is a great option. Yes. I start with Afro-Brazilian women because they are... They fit me just right as me only wanting a black woman. They fit me just right. Yeah. Um, but there's black women around the world. Brazil I picked because it's the blackest country in the Americas. Yes. United States is not the blackest country in the Americas. We only represent 13% of the population. Brazil, for a country the size of the United States, represents 53% of black population. Okay? All right, let's get that clear. The transatlantic slave trade came through Brazil up into the U.S. 
That's why there are way more blacks, Brazilians, than there are America, African Americans. I uh, mean, you know, black, Af black, excuse me, yeah. black Americans. I choose that because Brazilian women fit me just right. And a lot of, I invite a lot of brothers to start off in their venture around the world. Start with Brazil first, all right? Start living abroad. Think about living abroad because the Matrix is very even dangerous to foreign women coming back to Matrix USA and they can get reprogrammed easy. Yeah. We had we go on with so many stories of those tragic endings. But when we stay here in Brazil, you feel the love. I'm sure y'all two are feeling the love. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure Gary here is feeling the love. You got to figure out which love he's going to get. Okay. A lot of love. He got too many loves. Right. <laughs> you know. Five days of being here. Five days of being here. You, you know. You know. And the edge. You can be yourself. You don't have to be somebody fake. No. That. See, that was very refreshing coming down here. You know, you, you walk up to anybody, like, you know, just walked up to her, just started talking to her, you know, didn't give me a hard time or nothing, nothing like that, and, you know, and then we just hit it off. Like, that is virtually, you know, non-existent anymore, at least from my experience in the United States. It's virtually non-existent. You have to jump through hoops, you know, stuff like that, you know. It's just, that's it's very different here. Yeah. Here, you accept it for who you are. Yeah. All right? You don't have to play a role. You don't have to be the fuck me. <laughs> you don't have to, I get pissed off when I think about it. You don't have to be the bad boy. You don't have to yeah. be the criminal. No, 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 no. All right? They either like you or they don't. Right. Okay? They'll tell no. you very quickly, too, if they if they do, if they don't. Yeah, they, they, yeah no waste of time. They're, they're talking to you fast 10, 15 minutes, they like you. And because they already know what, what you want, you know what I mean? And if they don't like you, they'll tell you, hey, you know, I have somebody or I'm not interested, and they just keep it moving. We skip all that, you know, spending Let's go out, out money. Spend $1,200 on about four or 12 dates. Or you, yeah. Oh well, let's just be friends. Yeah, that doesn't. Or I'm happen. seeing somebody on the side. All that bullshit in America, right? That's matrix-minded stuff that goes on in Matrix USA. Okay. Here is a different ball game, all right? And you know, as y'all guys was, I mean, just 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 to end this real as we go on here, all right? How do y'all feel about brothers coming here? Well, they don't. Well, if they don't, then that's more. That's more of a choice for me. But you know, that's that's on them. I would say, yeah, check it out. Yeah, absolutely, check it out. Because um, the thing is, I think um, what's got a lot of people hung up about, you know, Brazil or any other country that's not to the United States level, for that matter, is that you know they don't want to give up some of the comforts they have or you know stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that's not what's important in life. You know what I mean? That's been very important down here. But to go back to the point uh, about Brazil having a lot of black people and stuff like that, uh, there's absolutely a lot of black people, uh, even in Rio. And uh, I visit, uh, visited uh, Bahia also. I mean, that's like the black people stronghold over there. The blackest city in the, in the yeah. world, I mean, in the world outside of Africa. Exactly. A lot of good people over there. I met a lot of good people, a lot of friendly people. So if you're looking for that, it, is, it exists. It's there. You know, you, you can absolutely find it. And uh, there's a little bit of something for everybody here in Brazil. That's even if you can't even speak the language. Absolutely. You'll get the language as time goes past. It's like the fact that, like you said, you can be yourself. You know, back in the States, you, know, you got to make sure you get your shoe game right clothes right your so car I'm, I'm your saying, house and, and i'm not saying you don't come down here and be presentable you still got to be presentable you know that's just you know you, you know be, what i've yeah. learned as far as coming down here to looking presentable personal hygiene is the number one thing right. that these women yeah. love right if you come down here clean right nice cologne am i right, right. <laughs> smelling good 
Nice body. Yes. Wash your ass every day. <laughs> All right. And come down here smelling like a dot. You got women for days. Yeah. Right. Okay. They love, they love smelling like kissing them. They're very friendly and very affectionate. They very and they very, very friendly, as you can see, very affect they love to be near their men. But they don't want to be near their <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You stink. Mm. You know? Yeah. Uh, and, you know? Um, on that point, like um there's another thing I think a lot of the brothers in, in the US need to understand. And here there are a lot of black women, right? But you don't see a lot of good, viable black men that they're actually looking for. I mean, that's a big difference there. Yeah, that's there true. There are some black men, it's just not what they're looking for. Like, she'll tell me all the time, you know, I want a smart man. I want a man who likes to study, a man who, who goes to school and, and stuff like that. And they see that in, a, in an American black man. They, you know, they, they like that. and They appreciate think, that. Exactly. And, you know... When when you come down here as a as an American brother, you know they're they're more receptive to, to talking to you too, and, and and see where that goes, you know, because they understand American black men are very hardworking, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. versus an uh, Afro Brazilian black man. So right there you have an advantage, you know. So I yeah. encourage every brother to come down here. Yes, like I said, this is this is a, a, an outlet. It's twenty six to one. Let's be real. Let's call it for what it is. It's 26 Afro-Brazilian or Brazilian women in general to one American man. Okay? Or African-American man. There's not... I get it all the time. Oh, well, there's a black Afro-Brazilian woman with a white man. She a bed wench. She just... No, you don't understand why she's there. But that's a completely different social dynamic out exactly. here also. Exactly. Because out here you see every shade of person that exists on the face of this planet. Mm -hmm. right. You'll see the, the pure white, and you'll see the pure black, and every shade in between. It's mm -hmm. a culture that is so mixed that, you know, when they talk about the US being a melting pot, it puts that to shame. Yes, it does. But 